take three. Hello beautiful crafty people, Michelle here and welcome to my makery. Um, I have a new camera and we're having technical difficulties. This is the third time I've tried to record this. Hopefully I now have the correct settings and press the right buttons and I'm holding my tongue right. No, who, who knows. So anyway, I said welcome, didn't I? I also want to welcome my new subscribers. I've had a few and I'm really, really happy. I'm great for everybody who watches my videos I really am I enjoy having someone to talk to about my craftiness because um, nobody around me really understands this obsession I could say it's an obsession I suppose that I have with soft squishy yarn and making cute things in blankets so anyhow if I repeat myself or get confused I apologize I have already recorded this two times so um, I've probably forgotten what I've told you and haven't and hopefully I don't forget anything right luckily though the previous two times I didn't get right the way through the video and then realized that I'd made a boo-boo um, anyhow so I'm gonna start with my finished objects which is just one and that is my Gary's Ripple Blanket. So Gary is done. But as you'll notice, Gary has a bit of shaggy, shaggy edges. That was because I didn't like the way my edges turned out. They were um, scruffy and just didn't look attractive. And I, it really put me off the whole blanket. And I was like, how am I going to fix this? So I tried just single crocheting over the top and in the pale grey to try and, because I do have pale grey at the top and pale grey at the bottom. So I thought if I did, you know, a couple of rows of single crochet and pale grey down the side, that will fix that up. But it didn't, it still didn't look how I wanted it to look. So I decided to try and hide it with fluff. And it seems to, in the most part, have worked. Um... It doesn't look how I wanted it to look, but it doesn't look how it looked, if that makes any sense to anybody. So I'm happy enough with it. But when I started, I was looking for something to watch, and so I was watching um, an old video by Julie at KS Mum Crochets, and she was making a ripple blanket, and she was saying how what she does is puts extra chains on her um, starting chain so that she has two extra stitches on each side where she can do two double crochets so it gives her that that flatter edge and I was like oh my goodness I need to do that on my next one because that would have saved me all the stress and worry and yeah anyway so this is Gary's ripple it's turned out lovely it's quite a heavy blanket considering there's not even it wouldn't even be eight balls of yarn in it because I had two each of each of the five colours, sorry, six colours that I had. Um, and I only really just got halfway through each of the second balls. I could have done another row of each colour, but I was over it. I wanted to start on um, my next blanket project, which is the Victoria's German Shells that I'm doing along with Terry from the Enjoy Podcast. So I wanted to get this one finished so I could do that one. Um, yeah. So this is using Lion Brand Feels Like Butter. And it's, it's really beautiful. I will link the pattern down below and put all the all the um, necessary guff down there. Now my second project is not quite finished. It's um, one of my UFOs, one of my whips that was hanging around. It wasn't actually in my whip video, I don't think. Because, oh, I forgot that it existed. And it wasn't until I was trying to clean up and reorganize up here that I found it. I was sitting in, the, in a plastic bag, squished in amongst all my yarn on my shelves, and um, which usually means that I've decided I don't want to do that project anymore, and I've buried it. Um, I'd started making a granny square blanket, just, you know. But that was about as far as I'd gotten. 
And then I shoved it back in the bag with the yarn and left it. The yarn I'm using is a Peyton's, I don't know, maybe it says baby something, but um, they've put the register clear sticker over it. 78% um, premium acrylic, 22% cotton. It's a 100 gram ball. I don't know if they make this yarn anymore because it, it, it what, did have a clearance sticker on it. It's 260 meters per ball. Um, I think I had three, so I don't know how I thought I was going to make a blanket out of them. They, there was this random ball of purple in there as well. It's unlabeled, but it's a, I'd say it's a DK as well. Maybe a thicker DK than this one, but so anyway, I didn't want to continue making that blanket, so I turned it into a lovey. I made it some arms and a head. Um, I haven't stuffed the arms. The head is slightly stuffed, and I'm going to put some embroidered eyes and stuff on there. That's why there's nothing on there yet. I want it to be safe for a baby, so I didn't want to use safety eyes. Um, so that's what I did with that one of my UFOs. It's a reasonably large sized blanket part, um, so it's a decent sized lovey. And I still have one full and one partial left. So I don't know what I'm going to do with those, but there is enough to make a full project or something, so that will go back on my shelves along with its companion. Uh, I will say, when making the body parts, I did hold this and the other yarn together so that um, so that it was thicker and it didn't take me so long to, because I was lazy. So, yeah. I just didn't feel like fiddling around with so many stitches. Anyway, so that's that one. Sorry for the crinkle. Now, moving on to my next works in progress, which is my Victoria's German Shells Blanket, which Terry at the Yarn Joy Podcast is currently making for her uh, crafting with friends. And so I've decided to be her friend and craft along with it. So this is my um, Victoria's German Shells. That's all I've done so far. And I am using Karen Cake in the colour... Why do I always try and read them upside down? In the colour Blueberry Cheesecake. I've had these in my stash for a very long time. Um... 80% acrylic and 20% wool, which is why they itch me. Um, and 350 meters. So I have three of these. So it's not going to make a huge blanket, but it will make a lap blanket or a, a baby blanket or something. So that's what I'm going for. I'm just trying to use up some of my yarn that I have had sitting around in here for a long time. I know I've had this for at least five or six years um yeah so i'm enjoying this pattern this pattern is by jonah Ma joanna joanna jonah martinez um i actually bought the pdf because i wanted to print it out but i haven't printed it out yet and i've just been working off my computer but there is a free tutorial for this blanket but i like to read patterns and it's beautiful. I love the combination of the virus um, sections and then the V stitches. It's very pretty. I'm going to have to make one out of some really pretty colours. But um, yeah. And if I finish my three cakes and want to make it bigger, I do have a selection of um, blue yarns around about the same size and in similar colours that I reckon I could tack on the end without any major disruption to how it looks so that's my victoria's german shells um and i'm making that along with terry from the yarn joy podcast i will link terry down below in her um crafting with friends videos all right so my next that we'll go on to my next works in progress so my next works in progress is from this book here Mama Made Minis, 
knotted lovies. It's my first project out of this book. And I am making Ezra the Elephant. Because if anybody knows me very well, they know that I like elephants. Now, oh my goodness. I had a problem with Ezra because I couldn't find the correct sized hook for his head. I thought I needed a 7.5, so I've gone and bought a 7.5, but I needed a 7, and I was I used a 6.5 because you start at the head, so I had to get the head done first. But so this is Ezra's head made with a 6.5 millimeter hook. His, for some reason, his his trunk squished sideways. I don't know. I must have put his head wrong. Anywho, it's okay. It builds character, doesn't it? So I've got to, um, so anyway, he only has one leg and it's really long because they have a knot tied in them. I've done his toenails and for some reason they ended up on the side of his foot, but I'm hoping, <laughs> he's got a club foot. I'm hoping that when I tie the knot, it will end up in the right place and I suppose it doesn't really matter because he's got knots in his legs um so anyway that's what I've done so far of Ezra he's um I'm just making him with blanket yarn that I got in Millend bags from Spotlight so I don't know exactly what it is I would say it's probably Burnett baby blanket or something it's very soft gray yarn very soft it's very squishy and I tried not to overstuff his head and his nose is not stuffed I'm thinking maybe I might put I don't know I probably shouldn't put a wire in there because it'll be for a baby or it might just be for me I don't know anyway so that's that and then because I thought I needed a seven and a half millimeter hook, I went and bought one. And it wasn't even one I really wanted because it's plastic. It was the only one I could find in town because, as I've said before, I live in a very, very small rural town. And um, we don't have a lot of shops. So the only place I could buy a crochet hook in the size I wanted. Like if I went to the discount store, I could probably buy a cheap, nasty metal crochet hook in a size 2.5 or something. But um, that's not what I wanted. I wanted... A 7.5 I thought so that's what I bought pony plastic 7.5 Patton said I needed a 7 so who knows I probably even got one down there I thought I had a 7.5 but it's a bit of a mess around here which is on my it's on my list of things to do today is tidy up downstairs and um, where I've been working and then I need to tidy up up here. But anyway, back to my acquisitions. I bought this at the local quilt and craft shop. It's the only place in town. And while I was in there, I had a look around because I like to support the local businesses when I can. But often we just can't buy what we need here or what we want. Um, and have to do a lot of our shopping online or go into um, one of the bigger towns or into the city. So anyway, I bought this. Year Round Gnomes. It's an Annie's Crochet book. It has eight mythological creatures to add a touch of whimsy to your home. But I thought this would be a great starting point because I do want to make some gnomes. I've been watching, as I said earlier, I've been watching some of Julie from Chaos Mum Crochet's older videos. And she makes a lot of gnomes and they are just the cutest, cutest things. So... I think that's what I'm going to have to do, is make some gnomes. So everyone's probably already seen this one. And on the back, there's more. But I think with these as a base, you can make pretty much anything. You can make any kind of gnome you wanted. So that's not the end, folks. I'm sorry to say I, I know I don't need yarn. But Spotlight, <laughs> Spotlight had a sale. And so this stuff arrived at the beginning of the week. And today is Saturday, Saturday morning. Um, so I have two bags here from Spotlight. And um, 
I'm gonna grab some scissors. Excuse me. Sorry, right in your face. Um, some of what I got is the same as the yarn I got last time from Spotlight, but I got the other colours that I didn't get that time, and also they had blanket yarn on special, and because I just bought that Knotted Lovies book, I thought, right, I'll get some blanket yarn, but they're sold out of most of the colours, and we don't have the variety of colours available here that um, you can get in other countries. That's pretty bad, actually. So I got this Motivera Blankie. It's 100% polyester and it's 300 gram ball. It's 150 meters. Hand wash. Do not tumble dry. Dry flat in the shade. Really? Okay, and they recommend an 8 millimeter hook or needle. So I got that one. Does it say what the color is? Peach. So that's peach. And then this one is pink and then this one is royal royal and then this one is black I think yes black so that's one bag excuse me Where'd I bury my scissors? There they are. Oh, it's starting to rain again. Mm, not the nicest weather. Oh, I forgot I got that. I got myself, because they were on sale, and in New Zealand, if these aren't on sale, they're like 20, $25 or something. The Karen Latte cake. And I got this. It's blueberry. It's just so soft. I just want to. Super soft. Sorry, you don't need to watch me filling up balls of yarn. Um, oh, I think I got another one. I don't know what I was planning. I think it was for amigurumis, like um, bears or bunnies or something. This one is the colour Earl Grey. Mm. Smells like a shop. Okay, and then I got this colour. Now this is the Motivera Valley. It's an 8 ply yarn, 100% acrylic, 150 grams, 375 meters. And I did get two of each one. And this is the color palm. Is that the thing? Yep. So two of those. Whoopsie. And I think this is one I already had. Eden, I think, because I did get, I think this is the one, yeah, I got four of these ones, and I already have two, and I hope to make myself a cardigan out of those ones, aren't they gorgeous, so I got four of the Eden, where am I going to put them? Here. Oh. This is not Eden, this is a different colour. It's got more green in it, see? And this one is called Cedar. Ooh. There should be two of those, but I can only find one at the minute. Oh, there's the other one. This one, look how pretty that is. And this one is called Rainbow. And this one, this one reminds me of a um, Lime Brand Ferris wheel that I have, but it's not quite as 
bright as the Ferris wheel. This one is called Mega Long. Actually, that's kind of what this yarn reminds me of. This is the Lion Brand Ferris wheel. This looks like rainbow again, is it? Yep. Oh, it's a bit squiffy. What's going on in there? Jeez. Give me the broken yarn. This one is called Palm. Ah. What was this one? Palm. I got three of those. Hmm. Why? I don't know. I must have had a plan if I got three because I wasn't supposed to get three. And this is the mega long again, I think. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, that reminds me. Yeah, that looks like the line brand. Ferris wheel. And then this fun. What's that? Oh. So that must be all the colours in there. Oh no, hang on. Hang on. I lied. Found another one. This one is called Swan. Swan. Very pretty. So two of this one. Then, then I got two of these, which are Motivera Shadow Eight Ply, sixty percent cotton, sixty percent acrylic, hundred grams. I'll read one. You can look at some oh, of that's not of a nice end. Yeah, you can look at the colours in that. Um. Recommends 4 millimeter needle. It's 209 meters per ball. And I got two. I don't know why. I don't know what I was thinking. But they would have been on sale. As I said, all the yarn was on a really good sale. Like 40% off or something. So that's why I got that. So thanks for joining me. Um, hopefully next time... I will be a wee bit more organised. I will have um, some more finished objects. There will be sometime today, Litza from Coco's Crochet will be releasing, will be picking out the new project for our crochet along. And um, I've only made one basket for this this fortnight's project. Um, I'm being pretty slack, unfortunately. So, I'll, oh, excuse me. I can't wait to see what she draws out for the next fortnight. Um, so that will be an upcoming project, but I don't know what it is yet. I want to get this elephant finished. I will be working on my Victoria's German Shells blanket. I am hoping to do a market um it might be next weekend, so I don't know if I can get into that one. It might be full already, but then hopefully I'll get into the April one. Yes, I can't believe it's nearly April already. Seems like it was just Christmas. Unbelievable. So, oh, and I also have to make um, hats and gloves for my son and his girlfriend who are living down in Christchurch. And it's getting very cold and they're going to have snow soon. So I need to get those done and in the post down to them as soon as I can. And I'll try and make them some slippers too. Alrighty, that's me for today I think. I need to go and clean up the mess I made downstairs. Plus I need to clean up the mess I've just made in here. And the mess that was already in here. Huh, the weekend's just not going to be long enough is it? Anywho, I hope everyone has a great weekend. Um, hope the weather's nice where you are. It's pretty miserable here. It's cold and it's raining. So, good crochet weather. But I do have to clean up first. Um, Alright, take care, stay safe everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.